Good morning from the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. My name is Ryan and on today's adventure, we're gonna go for a walk into downtown Gatlinburg. We're gonna check out some things that are new, some restaurants, attractions that are coming, as well as check out some things that people have come to know and love about downtown Gatlinburg. So if you haven't been here in a long time, or if you're planning an upcoming trip, I hope this video will help you out. I'll check out the gas prices and who knows, maybe we'll see a black bear. But we invite you to join us on today's adventure into downtown Gatlinburg. Here we go. I wanted to point out when you come into Gatlinburg here next to Herbert Holt Park you have this hotel being built and again this is next to Herbert Holt Park there's a kids 12 and under fishing area down here in a little playground great place for a little picnic well, let's keep walking on down the way here we have the Affy Lodge right here next to the Davy Crockett mini golf across the street here, the Shell gas station. Current regular gas price is $4.79 a gallon. So if you're able to fill up, I just checked Sevierville has it for $3.98. You can see some various hotels here along the river as we continue on into Gatlinburg and you have the Moonshine Mountain Coaster. Let me go see if I can see the current prices to ride this mountain coaster. Looks like 17 for adult, 13 for kids. You do have a re-ride of eight and $5. Let's keep walking down the street here as we approach Parton's Deli and Hillbilly Golf. <gasps> oh no, it's not here. About a third of you are like, what's not here? Another third is going, oh no. And then another third is like, who cares? Parton's Deli, loved by many. I see people ask, which mini golf should we do? And this is always, I think, my number one recommendation. It's just so unique. You take a little lift up into the mountain. It's very fun. I don't think it's too expensive. Really good little mini golf course. It's definitely not your run-of-the-mill place, so it's one that I like to come back and do with the kids, hopefully someday soon. And this is one of many trolley stops. The Gatlinburg trolley is completely free to hop on at any point, which is nice. And let's see what the gas prices are here. It looks like $4.59 for regular. And as we continue to walk down, you have yet another mountain coaster up here to the left. This was recently purchased by Ripley's. Ripley's does own quite a bit of different properties here in the area. We're here at Zoder's Inn and Suites with Creekside Balconies. Well, let's continue walking on down and see what else we find. You got the Smoky Mountain Trout House we're passing here. Here comes one of those free trolleys that you can hop on. You can go from one end of the strip to the other end. We're just going to be walking it today. Coming up to one of our favorite restaurants in the area, Chesapeake's. I would say it's your best bet for seafood here in the Smoky Mountains. As we come up to light number three, you'll notice construction of a brand new car museum that they are working on. I'm not sure of an exact opening date, but we'll keep an eye on it. Coming soon, Speedworks exotic car experience. So I'm gonna cross the street here, right across from Old Red's, Blake Shelton's restaurant. So 
we come around the corner, you can see the Land Shark Bar and Grill with Shark Week this month. It did cross my mind to go by there. It'd be kind of fun. You can see the Space Needle off in the distance as I also pass a city parking garage. Last time I was there, it was still $10 for the entire day. So you can park right here for $10 flat and do the walk that we're about to walk. You got the Hillbilly Harley we're passing. So we also come up to the Margaritaville, No Way Jose's. And you have a Ripley's Fun Zone. I have some retro family fun here to the left. And Anakista, straight ahead. Let's check out the line at Anakista right now at, it's about nine in the morning. You got the Savannah Bee Company right next to the Anakista lift where you can take either the chair or the gondola to get some amazing views of the Smoky Mountains up top. You can see right now in the morning, the line is not too bad, but this line will get very busy. So if you can get your tickets in advance, this is a place I do recommend getting your tickets in advance. I would not worry about getting aquarium tickets in advance as they don't ever necessarily sell out. I would recommend getting there early. Like this would be a fantastic time to be going to the aquarium right when they open, when it's not that busy. I did want to point out with parking at Anakista, it is $20 and that is good for 10 hours, which you would pay here. I also wanted to show you, there are down the street here to the left, a number of $15 parking locations. So there's one over the right and over the left, there's $15 parking. So it's $5 cheaper. There is also a $10 parking garage right over here. That's probably where I would park and just walk across the street if that's available. There also is a $2 per hour parking lot right down the street where that white truck is headed on your left. That's another option for you when it comes to parking. Let's continue to walk down the street here. check out the line up here at the Pancake Pantry. Very popular place to come get breakfast here in Gatlinburg, the Pancake Pantry. Well, let's go back here to the village. This is one of our favorite places to come back here at 27 Unique Shops. Well, let's check out the village and see what's going on. Such a cute little quaint area of all these different little shops. You can just walk around. Some of them are still opening, I think, not fully open. I do want to come back and try this little pub eventually. Let's head back out to the main parkway. Back here across from the village, you have a number of different shops as well. I want to come back here and try their po' boy. I haven't had it in a long time. Well, it's good to see that they're back open. So we'll have to come back and grab a po' boy soon. Let's continue on down the street here. It's my understanding that they are working on the top floor of this building on Jason Aldean's restaurant so we will keep an eye on the progress and see if this building ends up changing as far as its look 
can see Fanny Farkles. A lot of people like their ogle dogs. It's a corn dog. It's basically two hot dogs combined, gigantic corn dog. See the space needle off in the distance. I hope you guys are enjoying just coming along with me on a walk this morning in Gatlinburg. If you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button as we'll do other future walks through Gatlinburg, especially when they have fall decorations out and Christmas decorations. Got construction over here. Got some chandeliers hanging up inside now. The Terrace Mall across the street here. Coming up to Chicken Guy in the arcade, one of many arcades. Guy Fieri's restaurant. If you like Mexican food, you might wanna check out this place on the right, Loco Burro. You can get some rooftop seating and views of the Smoky Mountains. We've got the town center plaza here. It's pretty much shut down back here. So we'll see what happens with this area over time. As right now, everything back here is pretty much all closed down in this area. Let's keep walking as we pass Old Smoky Candy Kitchen. We've got a number of different wineries, moonshine tastings, candy shops, t-shirt shops. You have the Gatlinburg Inn here on the right. If you do stay here, one thing that would be nice is you're, you just walk right out of your hotel and you're, you're right here in the center of everything, pretty much. Coming up to the Skylift Park, where you can get a ticket to go up to the Sky Bridge. Let's see if I can zoom in and give you a better look at the Sky Bridge. There's a section up there with a clear floor that as you walk across. It's my favorite part to watch people walk by. But let's keep walking on down. Ripley's Believe It or Not here on the corner. And Sugarlands Distillery. Here to the right where you can come do some moonshine tasting. We're gonna walk all the way down to the end of the parkway here. I'd like to see the progress on a restaurant up ahead. As we come up to this corner, you got five guys. You got a number of different restaurants on the corner here, like Bubba Gump, Smith & Son, Corner Kitchen. You got an arcade by the Space Needle. And you have the Crazy Mason Milkshake Bar right here. Really fun to go to. Let me walk back here with you real quick at the Old Smoky Moonshine Distillery as we pass Mellow Mushroom. We've got a 7D Adventure winery. You can come back here and enjoy some live music. It's pretty cool back here at the moment. Got one of again many Ripley's properties you get the moving theater as well as the haunted adventure and the Hollywood movie and TV cars you do have a Paula Dean store and a Starbucks. Let's go check out the convention center. We have a craft show going on right now. Looks like we're getting a great family photo set up here at the moment. Yeah. 
Everybody looks great. Everybody looks great. <laughs> Different crafts out here. So we got a craft fair going on right now at the Gatlinburg Convention Center. Let's go see if we can see this guy's doing a work on a bear over here. Let's check this out. These guys are incredible. Look at this stuff. It's amazing. at what the final result would be. He's working on some of these guys about that size. So there you go. There's a look at some of the craftsman work out front of the convention center. It's just really neat to walk around Gatlinburg and you never know, you might see somebody with a chainsaw carving a bear. You got the LeConte View Motor Lodge. There was a hotel here previously. It's completely gone. But they'll be rebuilding a new one in its place as we pass Shoney's here on the left. And you have a TGI Fridays on the right, along with the melting pot. And it looks like we have a bunch of people waiting for Flapjack's pancake cabin here on the left. As we continue on down the street, we come up to Elks Plaza. We recently grabbed a pizza from this pizzeria back here. We'll be having that video go up soon. We also have Howard's Restaurant here and Ober Gatlinburg to the right. You can take a ride up to the top got a number of different things up top from mountain coasters to ice skating ring which my kids enjoy. We're also passing Cherokee Grill here to the left as well as Calhoun's Village. Let me go back here and uh, check on a little coffee shop that opened not too long ago. So we talked about parking earlier over by the aquarium. So this is $10 parking, but one thing I wanted to point out is it is free with proof of $10 purchase from a store back here. So one store I did want to check on and point out was this Smoky Mountain Coffee Company. And you can come back and grab a coffee or two, frappe, a smoothie from the Smoky Mountain Coffee Company hold on to your seat and that is paid for parking. And what's nice is this is a locally owned, veteran owned coffee shop. We have a whole video of this place. I'll put a link for it in the description if you wanna check it out. As we exit Calhoun's village, you'll notice across the street a wedding chapel. I've had many people tell me they were married there. Right next to that, you got a little tiny pizza place. And what I wanted to check out was the progress on this new restaurant under construction called Cumberland Jack's. It was a Texas roadhouse that they closed down and are remodeling it for a new restaurant. I believe it's the same owners as what's across the street of uh, Crockett's Breakfast Camp. So it's about 10, 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, still a pretty good line of people wanting to get into Crockett's. Coming up to one of our favorite places to come and grab a salad at the Park Grill Fantastic Salad Bar owned by the same company that does the Peddler Steakhouse. 
So pretty much the same salad bar as the Peddler. And I love all the decorations inside the park grill. All the different animals and pictures on the wall. Across the street, you have Old Dad's General Store, as well as the Sugarland Cellars Winery. There is a trail that we do recommend if you have limited mobility or little ones. It is Cataract Falls. It's not too far from here. You can go to a waterfall. It's a short hike. It's not very steep. It's not too difficult. We did a full video of that hike, how to get there, and even how your kids can become a junior ranger for the day. I'll put a link in the description to that hike at the Sugarlands Visitor Center. Not too far right down the road, pretty easy to get to. So we are gonna cross the street and let me see what the gas price is currently at this gas station. Looks like regular is $4.49. So we're gonna come around this back little road. It's called River Road. I'll show you what's back here as well. So we continue to walk down River Road here, coming up to the Peddler Steakhouse. This is a favorite of many people who come to Gatlinburg. Got a really good salad bar. People uh, love the steaks here. And uh, you get a really good riverside seating if you can. But we have a full review of the Peddler when Bree and I went here earlier this year. So I'll put that down in the description of this video. You also have Bennett's barbecue here on the left along with Big Daddy's wood-fired brick oven pizzeria. You also have the backside of Ober Gatlinburg where you board the aerial tramway to go up to the top. It's a beautiful day here in Gatlinburg. But let's continue walking on down River Road a little further. Here goes the Redneck Comedy Bus Tour. This is the last place I saw a black bear. I was walking along just where I am right now, and I looked over to the right, and there's this big black blob going over right here. And then he went over to that fence, and the river was much, much higher, so I ended up walking over here to watch him cross the river where you can see this guy is fishing. But here is a look at that uh, bear crossing the river. You can see the conditions of the river were a lot different then. He did end up making it all the way across the river. It was just very strong current. I think it surprised him. You can see there's lots of little places to go fishing along the river here. Well, thanks so much for enjoying me on this walk through Gatlinburg. If you have any questions about anything we covered or we didn't cover, drop those down in the comments. Hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video to let YouTube know this is worth your time to watch and consider subscribing. I'll be doing other walks in the future of the fall decorations, Christmas decorations, and continue to show you other places to eat and things to do here in the Great Smoky Mountains and beyond. Thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.